And that is why they went around the US to look for investors. They couldn't find anyone for two years and they tried everywhere, even overseas, but they wouldn't give up. And eventually, in the year 1915, the Lockheed brothers got Paul Meyer, a French investor, to invest in their Lockheed company. The Lockheed brothers realized that people from San Francisco are not interested in this aircraft and they don't want to ride it. And that is why they took their business elsewhere and they start another business in the city of Santa Barbara, California. They made a new company and the deal was you can ride on this airplane with us and we will take you in the sky of San Francisco and show you around the city. The people from Santa Barbara were extremely happy about this. In about two months, the Lockheed brothers took 600 passengers from Santa Barbara to San Francisco. At this time, the brothers were making some money and they were no longer broke. But their goal wasn't to make money from making a bootleg airliner. All they wanted is to make some money so they can design and innovate new airplanes. In the year 1916, the Lockheed brothers decided to design an aircraft that could land and take off from the water. And this is the first airplane that could do that. The Lockheed brothers were thinking to themselves that if we designed something like this, we could sell it to the US Navy. They designed and built the plane, they tested it, but it seems like the Navy wasn't interested at that time. It's a terrible time too. World War I has just ended and the US airplane fleet is ginormous and they're selling their used airplanes like hotcakes. You could have bought an airplane from the government for only $300 at that time, while the Lockheed brothers are charging $2,500.